Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bhavne. So today I have come up with a video which is based upon Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. So if you have followed my previous series which is based upon the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform where I have made several projects based upon the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. So today I come up with a project tutorial which is based upon temperature monitoring by using the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. But wait, this is not based on the DST11 temperature sensor. It is based upon DS18B20 temperature sensor which has slightly higher accuracy as compared to other sensors and which requires only one wire communication. So now first we will see what is DS18B20 temperature sensor and after that we will we'll get started with the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. So this is the datasheet for the DS18B20 temperature sensor. So th now there are few features for DS18B20. Now let's see what are those features. Now it requires only one wire communication. So you can only require one port for the communication and also it has temperature measurement range from minus 55 degrees Celsius to plus 125 degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit you can say minus 67 Fahrenheit to plus 257 degree Fahrenheit and also it has accuracy from plus minus 0 0.5 degree Celsius accuracy from minus 10 degree Celsius to plus 85 degree Celsius. So it requires only one data line and the ground for communication with the microcontroller or the microprocessor. Now here you can see each ts one b 20 temperature sensor has unique 64 bit serial code. Now what is the benefit of this? Using this multiple ts one b 20 sensors can connect to the microprocessor or the microcontroller. Now this is the sensor that we are using here. So it has three pins. One is ground, one is data line and the Last one is VCC pin. So once you sign into the Arduino IoT Cloud platform, you need to create a thing. Now here you can see I have already created a thing. If you want to know more that how to create a thing, how to add the device, how to configure the Wi-Fi network and all. So I have already made a complete getting started guide for the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. So you can watch that video. I have mentioned the link inside the description box as well as in the i button. Now in order to create a thing, you need to click on the create thing. You need to configure three things. One is add a variable, one is add a device and the configure and configure the network. So I have already done that. So I have already created a thing. So this is the thing that I have already added. So I'll click on that. Now here you can see. So I have added one variable that is temperature. So I have selected the data type of this variable as a float. So here you can see I have added the device that is ESP32 board. So basically this is the third party device. So in order to add third party device, you need to add secret key and all. Now here you can see I have configured the network. I have provided my mobile hotspots name and the password and the secret key. Now we will see the most important part that is Arduino sketch. Now go to the open full editor. Let's click on that. Now this is the most important part of this project that how I have done the coding for the ds one b 20 temperature sensor. So if you are following my videos, I have already made a tutorial on the ds one b 20 temperature sensor using the Blink IoT platform. So there is a just a difference of IoT platform. So I already have the code for the ds one b 20 temperature sensor. Let's see how I have modified the code. Now once you have declared the variable inside the thing, here you can see you have got your variable here declared already. No need to define it once again. Now here you can see I have added two libraries. One is one wire and the Dallas temperature dot s library. So I have already have this code for Blink IoT platform. So what I've done, I've just copied everything. So the library that we required for the DS18 B20 sensor. So I required this library that is one wire dot edge. You just need to copy these two things like just copy this entire things from here like control C and go back to your Arduino IoT Cloud platform and paste it here. So complete thing is same. Here you can see you just need one wire library and Dallas temperature dot H library. No need to install and anything. You just need to copy this code. I've just copied this code and paste it here. Now inside the void setup, no need to modify anything. Come inside the void loop. Here I have done few modifications function that is send sensor. All the code is there for reading the temperature. So what I've done, I've just copied everything. So just copy this thing that sensor dot request up to delay. I have not copied this blink dot virtual because it is used in blink IT platform. So I just copied this part control C and paste it here. You can see everything is same. 
Now here you can see I have created two variables here like temp C and temp F for Blink Radio platform. Temperature C is basically storing the temperature in degree Celsius and temp, temp F is a variable which is basically storing the variable in Fahrenheit. Now I have commented those two variables. Now why I have commented? Here you can see you are getting the temperature in degree Celsius by using this line only. So this line contains temperature in degree Celsius. So what you just need to do so that we have already defined one variable that is temperature. So just type this variable name that is temperature and store the value by using this line that is census dot get temp C by index. This is the simple code that you can modify. So even if you don't understood anything, just let me know inside the comment section. So I will mention the link of this code inside the description box. So now select your board from here and upload the code. I have already uploaded the same code. So here one thing I forgot to mention you that I have connected DS1 at B20 temperature sensor to the pin number 13 of the ESP32 board. So I will show you the circuit diagram as well. So here you can see the DS1 at B20 temperature sensor has three pins. One is ground, one is data pin and one another one is VCC pin. So the ground is connected to the ground of the ESP32 board and the data pin is connected to the pin number 13 of the ESP32 board and VCC is connected to the VIN pin of the ESP32 board. So this is a very simple circuit diagram. Just do the connection. So now I have already uploaded the code. Now we'll go to the Arduino IDE Cloud platform and we'll create a dashboard. So now here you can see the device is online. Now we'll go to the dashboard and I'll click on build dashboard. Now just click on add. Now search for the widget that you want to add. So here I just wanted to add simple gauge. Let's click on gauge. Now rename it as temperature. And click on link variable as you know that you are getting the maximum minimum value of minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius so I'll write here 125 okay and link a variable that we have created so we have created only one variable that is temperature let's click on link and click on done now as you can see on the on the screen the value that we are getting of the temperature is 33.563 degrees Celsius so this is the current temperature right now here in India. So we are successfully able to monitor the temperature data. Now what I'll do, I'll just try to increase the temperature by using the solder iron and we'll see the changes on the screen. So uh, I wanted to add chart. Let's click on chart. I'll, I'll write here temperature. And click on link variable. Click on temperature, click on link variable. Click on done. Now as you can see on the screen, the data is updating. So this is my setup. Like this is the DS1 and B20 sensor and this is the ESP32 port. So as you can see, the sensor is sending the data. So now this is the solder iron. So I'll just try to hit the sensor and just see the data. So you can see the temperature is increasing now. The data is updating on the screen. You can see the temperature is 34.43 now. Temperature is increasing 35. It's 35.18. So this is how you can easily connect DS1 at B20 temperature sensor to the Arduino IT Cloud platform and monitor the data. So this is very simple project that you can build. So there are various types of temperature sensor available on the market. Like you can get DS1 at B20 temperature sensor as a waterproof sensor as well. So I hope I am able to explain you this project. And if you found this project helpful to you, then do subscribe the channel and like the video. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.